Hello. <laughs> Just hello. Hi, welcome back to Rusty Beauties. We're working on the Miata today. What's well, here? The 1994 Mazda MX-5. <laughs> okay. So hi from me as well. So today we have the Miata again in the garage, as you can notice, and uh, we're gonna continue with this whole area here. So unfortunately we are out of welding wire but that doesn't stop us like i can go to the store and buy no problem it's saturday today but i think we have something else that we can do today so if you remember in the previous episode we rebuilt a lot of the inner structure here inside the seal and uh, we still need to build this down from here and that's the last piece from inside and then we can put the seal on top and um, we also before the outer seal we need to repair this inner wheel well that needs to go somewhere to there but we don't know where it, it ends but uh, luckily we have a package that arrived with our new outer seals so that's my idea for today we can prefit the outer seal and see how that is gonna help us determine where this is gonna finish and uh, also if you remember in the previous episode i started removing this outer seal from here because that's the outer seal all the way so we have to decide today let's take them out of the box and decide today whether we want to replace the entire seals or we can just cut them somewhere here and replace from here that way. But I think there's no point. There's no point keeping that middle part when we're gonna have to cut all the way to here somewhere because you see the metal is rusted here. Anyways, let's take them out of the box uh, and see what they look like. All right, so this is what's in the box. Uh, two seals or rocker, whatever you want to call them, and two repair patches for the fender. So this is the patch that replaces this rusted one. Anyways, we'll see how we're gonna go with it, but I'm assuming that this metal here is good. So I don't need to go that high and replace it all the way there. I think we can just cut it somewhere here. So all the parts are again from this company, Clocker Home. I bought them from Moss Motors, but they are made by Clocker Home, Clocker Home, whatever. And I've already got comments in my previous video about these parts. We got these, these panels also made by them and they weren't the best quality. So here I would say the same thing. <laughs> they are what they are, I mean, uh, let's put it this way the quality is corresponding to the price and and we bought them pretty cheap so <laughs> you can imagine for example here look at this this needs to be like i know it's gonna be under the car but um, you know it's it's not nice and the metal is overlapped already here so i can't even uh, shrink it on the english wheel for example so we will see it's gonna be under the car but maybe i can make a cut here and weld it because i don't want this overlapping metal to be here and the other thing is here they're supposed to fit together right look when these holes go there this doesn't fit so this needs to be bent more or which means we might need to shrink it or stretch it, but it doesn't match at all. The rockers, shape-wise, I think they look better, even though, look at this here again. <laughs> oh my God. Anyways, they, they look better. The metal is pretty heavy. I think that's, I don't know, probably 16 gauge, which is good. So what I'm thinking, because on the car, I was just explaining to Nicola, he says, why don't we replace the whole thing? Well, 
to replace the whole thing, we have to take the car apart big time. Because you see this B post is overlapping the rocker here. So to remove the rocker, we need to remove it from here. Look again, there's three layers, four layers of metal here. I don't know why, but anyways, um, so to remove the rocker, we need to remove part, at least part of the B post, if not the whole B post. But to remove the whole B post, we need to cut it from here. So it's a lot of work just to replace a piece of metal that is actually in a good shape. So what I'm thinking is we're gonna cut the new part and this part here, like maybe half an inch below the, below this uh, edge, before below this corner, and we're gonna replace everything down from here. Also, the front here is overlapped by the A post. So yeah, here we can do the same. We can continue this cut from here in that direction, like this and like this, and then we can use new part for here and from here down. For this though, we're gonna have to remove the door, which I don't like, because there's wires inside and stuff. Uh, so, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of the old for of the old one first, and then we're gonna see how we can trim the new one to make it fit with the old one. All right, so we decided that actually we're gonna cut it here in the middle of this flat part because it's gonna be easier to adjust in and out how far in and out goes later and. Uh, and it still is gonna be hidden because I was explaining to Nikko again, we'd like the seam to be somewhere where it's gonna be hidden because we can't make it perfect. So there are gonna be imperfections that we need to cover with body filler. So we'd rather do that inside. So yeah, that's where we're gonna cut it because also here, if you look inside, I don't know how well you can see, I was gonna cut it here, but this is very close to another part inside you see they are butt to butt or i don't know what should they call it like they are touching each other here so i don't want to cut through the second part inside through the second layer so i'm just gonna cut here and that's where we're gonna make the join so that's the plan cut here cut here get rid of the shell and then we're gonna drill the spot welds or we should drill them now and then just make one cut yeah let's let's do that let's drill spot welds first all right so we drilled all the spot welds here we think the ones that we found we drilled them and here in the front it's really hard where it's it's rusted it's hard to find them i think i can see one here right now oh maybe one here maybe oh now all of a sudden I see them all. <laughs> Anyways, but uh, we're gonna do them later. We're just gonna cut it up to here and we're gonna remove this part of the seal. I cleaned up the paint and uh, primer and everything and I drew a line more or less where I'm gonna cut it. Of course, we're gonna cut it further out here and further in on the actual seal. So then we can start slowly, slowly creeping in and grinding a little bit here, a little bit there, so we can put it where it belongs. So I think I'm ready to start cutting. I just don't know how I'm gonna cut it under there. But like I said, I don't wanna remove the door. It might need to come out at some point because it's gonna need some work too, I think. At least maybe the other one, not this one. I don't know. For now, I don't wanna remove it because it's, uh, it's a lot of work. And today we don't have too much time to, to work, so I'd like to fit the seal first. So that's how far I could go. Now for the rest, we need to figure out something else. All right, so this is where I can use this tool which I have from Eugene. 
I mentioned many times before that I have this friend who keeps giving me tools. So he gave me this as well with this adjustable head and it's also adjustable direction, which is great. I can change direction with this too. So let's see how far this can take us. That was tricky. Anyway, so the entire flange is out here. Only here I haven't removed this, but here I need to replace the rear flange. I need to replace also this flange at the back, which is part of this. Hold on. You see, this is part of this part, which is not held by anything else. So this entire flange needs to be replaced. So I'm not gonna bother with this. I'm just gonna cut it back a little bit where I'm gonna weld it. I'm just gonna, the only thing I'm, that I'm gonna leave is this corner here at the end that's gonna give me reference for how far out it goes. Here I know in this end, but in this end, if I cut it completely off, I don't know how far it needs to go. Even though when I put the seal, probably I'm gonna be able to determine, but I'm just gonna keep the end for now. And I'm gonna cut this. Also here, I think the floor, I think the bottom panel again needs to be worked on a little bit so i don't know if there are holes or not but i'm just gonna cut it here and here because this needs to be repaired anyways so i'm gonna cut it i'm gonna keep the part i'm gonna try to figure out if there's other spot welds or these are the same spot welds that hold this part but we will try to to take it off so we can leave only the bottom and then we're gonna buzz it with the needle scaler and, and see if we need to repair anything on the bottom or not and again we're gonna start like the rear end we're gonna start repairing everything from inside out but for now i'm just gonna remove it and we're gonna try to fit the outer seal you know what i mean all right so when you remove the corroded metal all the stuff like that and all of a sudden it looks so much easier to work on doesn't it anyway so i cut this piece and i use the needle scaler this thing that hits with those how many are there three four three six nine ten and probably twelve or fifteen needles and we discovered that there's rusted metal here too and in the back so we need to repair that but it's nothing like the rear there you know how much it was uh, rusted now i sprayed it with a rust converter so the rust converter is gonna do its job and then we're gonna spray everything with primer because the car lives outside we only bring it inside the garage when we work on it the rest of the time is she's just outside so we're gonna spray everything with primer and then we're gonna continue working with on it so now while the rust converter is doing its magic we're gonna go and maybe start cutting the seal to make it fit here with these parts all right so like i said we're gonna cut this one again on the same place but a little bit further in and then we're gonna be able to grind because the other one we cut somewhere 
at this level the one inside so this one now we're gonna cut somewhere at this level so we're gonna have some overlapping metal that's gonna allow us to play a little bit until we find the correct shape or the correct amount of metal that we need there so now we just need to figure out how far we need to cut back and I know for a fact that this little um, what's it called this little ridge here that we have was a little bit further for forward than the end of the door so that's how far I think this is and from this position back we have another inch and a quarter let's say so from here inch and a quarter somewhere here it needs to be cut something like this and this part is gonna match this part of course I'm not gonna go that far in the beginning I'm gonna cut it only to here somewhere like this so we can have some overlapping metal again to play with so that's where we're gonna cut it for here it is the same uh, this line here was right in front of this step that's where I cut it so uh, so we need to go like this and from here we need to go up to match the same shape and like this and then this is where it starts going down you see this slope here so something like this again this is where I think the final cut is gonna be but just to be sure we're not gonna cut it there we're gonna give ourselves a little bit of allowance here to play with Here the front is telling me how far I need to be, you see? Here, uh, I don't know if this one is in the correct place. Also here, this needs to overlap with this, and then the fender overlaps them on top. So this line needs to be a continuation of this line. But we will see, we're gonna have to put the fender and see how it matches this here, you see this little thing. But oh, we know that the fender, I remember, the fender is a little bit longer actually, we need to shorten it to match this lip. So that's not so critical. What's critical is here, we need to make the fender that comes on top here to overlap nicely with this, okay. And that's going to give us the position of how far forward or backwards it needs to be. And now that also gives us an idea about here inside where the wheel well needs to end and what shape it should have. So basically it should have the same shape as this. But I'd like to also put the fender now on top and see how that's going to match. Okay, so we put this part here with the clicus, so it is exactly where it's gonna be, but I can't push it in because it overlaps now with this uh, part of the seal. So I need to actually shorten it to more or less that line that I already marked. So I can uh, put the fender down. And this is what I'm talking about. You see how it is longer here? We need to shorten it to match this little step here but here at the back I think we are pretty close to this where it should be so 
Yeah, let's start trimming the parts little by little until they match properly. Okay, that's better now. And this can fit further in. It's still like the whole seal needs to go in, I think. Here you see it's hitting the old one, so we need to trim it. We need to start trimming it so it can go in as much as far as we want it to go. So when the door is closed, it's gonna stick out just the right amount. We can still copy that from the driver's side. The pin there needs, I told before that it needs to have a flange going down that matches this one, but obviously this is how it is because I can see now the front fender has holes and the seal has captive nuts, like nuts welded inside so you can screw it. So I guess this is the same situation here. So I think we should start trimming it slowly, slowly until it fits in the right spot. Like now I know how far forward or backward. That was my whole point here to know how far forward or backwards it needs to go. So this is its position, so I can actually mark it now. Yeah, so this is its position. So now we can start trimming it until it fits perfectly with the old one. Wow, isn't she a beauty, eh? <laughs> I'm tempted just to weld them as they are and forget about the rust inside. <laughs> I know I know Nick is all for it. <laughs> uh, he's like sick and tired of the rust. But no, we're gonna pull them out again and we're gonna finish everything inside. I just wanted to see what she will look like. And I'm impressed. Okay, so we trimmed the front end a little bit and uh, looks like it doesn't here, it doesn't match, doesn't reach all the way up for whatever reason. But on the other hand here, it is as high as it should be. So I believe this is how high it needs to be. And that also gives us a pretty good gap here between the door and the uh, seal. So maybe it needs to go a little bit further in, but I don't think so actually that's how far it was sticking before, I think. So I'm pretty sure that here we are good. Maybe, maybe a little bit more in, but we'll see. And then I came here at the back and I trimmed this. And uh, now we are good here at the top, but the bottom needs to go a little bit further in. So this can match this. And that makes sense because now we are still sticking a little bit too far out here. So we need to go in with the seal, with the bottom. Here we're fine. So knowing that, that it needs to go a little bit further in here and a little bit further in, in the front maybe, we can start now cutting this here. Um, a little bit of the new seal, a little bit of the old metal here, so we can go in. Here in the middle it needs to go a lot. So that's what I'm gonna start doing now, just cutting a little bit at a time, or grinding it, or, or whatever, so we can creep up slowly, slowly to the correct shape. All right, so I trimmed it pretty well here, I think. And now there's this gap in the middle, but it needs to be pushed in like this because it sticks out further more than what it sticks in the front and the back when the door is closed. Now I have this clamp here, when I remove it, it, it opens, but let me try and push it now. So you see, now it needs to be pushed in and it still sticks too far out in the middle. Yeah, maybe I should trim it more. Anyways, I think that's something that we can play with when uh, the time comes to install it permanently. Then I can just tuck it here where I know it's good. 
I can tuck it in the front where I know it's good and then I can probably push this in, maybe tuck it in place and see if it is good. If it's not, then I'm just gonna make another cut through the existing cut when the two layers touch and that's gonna give me another disc thickness to push in. So yeah, we're gonna play with that when the time comes to install it permanently. But I think it fits pretty well. Actually, what I said in the beginning that these parts are not great quality. Actually, I think the seals are perfect. I don't know about the fender, but uh, the seal fits pretty well. I'm happy with it. So I think we've done enough today. Next, we need to start repairing the rust inside, but we can't because I don't have the welding wire. So uh, I think I should just prime the rust inside because the car is, is going to have to go out and uh, we're going to leave it for now. But I think we made pretty good progress. I'm happy. All right. This is not well true primer. It's just a regular primer because that's what I had. And I also sprayed over the black bed liner that we sprayed there last time just so we can see the whole repair. And I'm actually pretty happy with it. So, so before we close it permanently, we're gonna spray everything with bed liner too. Hopefully that's gonna protect it. But again, when we have the welder, we're gonna rebuild this part here that we cut off here and here. I left the flange of this part. Probably when we're repairing the bottom, we're gonna just cut off the flange from here and deep inside. So there's no point of removing it now since the other one is gonna need to come off anyways. So that was a nice progress today, actually. We were able to have a glimpse of what the car is gonna look like when it's ready. That made me happy. I didn't do anything. <laughs> he didn't work a lot today, but we didn't do a lot of work. It was just trimming a little bit at a time of this. That that took a lot of time to trim anyway uh i don't know that's not gonna be the end of this video i guess but it's gonna be the end of the work for today so we will see you tomorrow Au revoir. bye well i actually lied <laughs> we didn't do any more work this weekend so we're gonna put an end of this video here so thanks for watching thanks for commenting and subscribing sharing supporting the channel it's all really appreciated guys so thank you a lot See you in the next one. Bye.